and welcome back to another album of the week. I uh, missed the last couple weeks just due to family visiting and everything, but hey, we're back on schedule now. Um, this week, I kind of changed up my original plans for the album, uh, and that is due to the recent passing of guitar legend Eddie Van Halen. Now, at this point, you've probably seen it all over YouTube and the news and everything, and it's probably been very inundated. Um, and I wanted to kind of pace myself. I mean, I posted on my Instagram page, you know, the day he died and everything like that, but I didn't want to just kind of throw a video out there real quick. Be like, oh, yeah, hey, hey, Van Halen, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wanted to kind of give it a little bit of time um, I don't know if that's the right move, but hey, we'll see. <laughs> so if you haven't gathered thus far, my pick this week is Van Halen, specifically Van Halen's 1984. Um, this is by far my favorite Van Halen album. Um, ironically, not it does not have my favorite Van Halen song on it, which is funny. My favorite Van Halen song is Romeo Delight, which is off of Women and Children First. But this one, of course, has a lot of, you know, you think Van Halen, it's going to be songs that are on this album. I mean, it's got Jump, it's got Panama, it's got Hot for Teacher. Um, I love this album so much that I actually not only have it on vinyl, but I also have it on CD and even cassette. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Glare. Yeah. Cassette. Works, too. <laughs> um, this album is awesome um funny enough it's also the last album that they did with the original four members uh, because a year later um, is when david lee roth departed the band due to creative differences after that is when sammy hagar joined and they released a lot of albums like 5150 and such like that um they did reform back in 2007 with David Lee Roth. However, Michael Anthony, the original bassist, was not present. Uh, he instead was replaced by Eddie Van Halen's son, Wolfgang. So it was a fun little music trivia history for you. Um, but anyway, 1984, this album, when it came out, um, was like on the Billboard top 100 for like ever for like five weeks straight um trailing just behind michael jackson's thriller which ironically eddie van halen played on you know beat it probably my favorite michael jackson song um and it has made the billboard list of 100 greatest albums from the 80s and it's uh slated 80 number 81 i believe so uh it went certified diamond in 1999 so 15 years after its release it got diamond and the rest is history man um if you're like me you know if, uh, fellow music aficionado van halen's probably in your regular rotation there's no denying how just amazing they were this is the first album they did after their debut album that sold as many records as it did. Uh, so this one was kind of a big deal for them. Also, this album is when Eddie started incorporating synthesizer into the mix. So, you know, Jump has that, dun, 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 you know, it's just so well known. Um, so a lot of like, you know, guitar aficionados were kind of taken back by that. But, you know, it worked out in the end, didn't it? The producer on this one was Ted Templeton, Templeman, who is known for many, many 80s albums. Um, Don Landy was the engineer. I still have the linear notes. Check that out. <laughs> this is an original pressing, by the way. Not one of those, uh, not one of the repressings that you get at FYE or Urban Outfitters or whatever. Like, this is the real deal. Original uh, linear notes and everything. It's falling apart, mind you, but hey, the record still works and that's what matters, right? <laughs> so yep, that was the album of the week, Van Halen's 1984, their sixth studio album. Uh, what's your favorite track off it? Personally, mine's Hot For Teacher because I'm a drummer at heart and that opening beat that Alex does is just awesome. 
Uh, let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe and share and ring the bell and notify you and, you know, all that stuff. You hear it a million times on every single YouTube channel. So I just, it's the usual jargon. You know what to do. Anyway, I'm Nick. This has been Album of the Week from That Music Junkie, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.